Ladies and gentlemen, Tundra Town USA continues on this beautiful Sunday. We have gotten to the second dealership, and I must say, you probably won't be able to see this on camera, but there is definitely a massive fire going on because it is hazy and it smells like smoke bad, so hopefully everybody's okay. But let's get to the Tundras at hand here. We got a limited on the end there, smoke mesquite. We have a nice SR5 TRD off-road, pretty much like the one I have, just crew max. We have a TRD Sport, we have a TRD Sport, we have a TRD Sport, we have a TRD Sport. Let's start down at the TRD Sport. And on the uh, at the front of the dealership, it looks like there was a Platinum and a TRD Pro. So we'll bang through these sports real quick. It's going to be noisy. It's Labor Day weekend, and this road goes to the beach. So hopefully my mic isn't picking up everything. It looks like all of these TRD Sports are Crew Max. We have Black. We have Celestial Silver. We have black and magnetic gray metallic. So with the differences maybe being sidesteps, I would think all of these will be priced fairly similar. Don't forget, TRD Sport, body color all the way around. You get that decal on the back. You get unique 20-inch TRD wheels. It has a Bilstein suspension with like an inch drop in the front. You get the TRD grill up front. Please remember, TRD Sport does not give you the locking rear diff, multi-terrain select. That stuff is for the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro. Here's the pricing, ladies and gentlemen. This is a loaded up one. So this has the premium package on it. It has the advanced technology package on it. It has the premium audio package on it. So this is loaded up. If you want to pause the video, I will hold it there because it has a lot of additions. They're asking 62437, 6607, and that's why. Let's circle around to the other side. Blacked out badging. Don't forget that. I really like the sport and I like the sport when it's loaded up like this. This is a premium truck and this is again harping at you at this point. SR5 can be built up pretty nicely with this new generation. I mean there's even ways it's not just a sport package anymore. Now there's the sport premium package and then you had the advanced technology package and then you had the premium audio package like soft text, heated, big screen, heated steering wheel, Looks good. You cannot get moon roofs or pano roofs in SR5. I think that's, you know, the only thing that people wish for SR5, which to be honest with you, it's no big deal. But if you want that pano roof, you got to go up to limited. This looks to be the same idea. Actually, I found a difference right away. You're going to see a difference in package. This has the blind spot monitoring and the parking sensors. No sensors. So you may see. Yeah, this one has a lot less on it. So this is pretty much proving my point. This has the premium package on it. So this is going to have the 8-inch screen on the inside because that's the premium audio package. This one's 57138, 60708. So when we come around here, that TRD Sport premium package makes the seats soft text. So there you go. Premium package, but the screen is small doesn't have the advanced technology package so you're not going to get the blind spot monitoring the parking sensors and all of that so there's a perfect example of trd sport premium trd sport premium with everything on it let's see what this one's like and just from as i stand right here i can see the sticker is loaded up again so this is probably and it has the sensors this is probably going to be just like that first one we looked at yep this one's got a lot on it just like the other one 62, 232, 65, 802. Manual leveling LED headlights, which I'll be honest with you, on my SR5, I have manual leveling, just like the last generation. That little uh, dial at your bottom left knee, uh, you can, you know, adjust the headlight beam so it's not blinding people. Say you're towing or hauling heavy loads, or the truck just sits up to the point where it's blinding people. You have that little dial on the high-end Tundras, that is auto leveling. I would much rather the way we have it on ours with the little dial. I'd rather control that. I don't know. For me, biggest bang for your buck with the TRD Sport package is magnetic ray metallic, like we're looking at right here, with no side steps. With the side steps, the truck looks super low. With no side steps, it looks great. In my opinion, of course. And don't get me wrong, when you have a family, you want those side steps. You should see my wife trying to get up in the truck. Thank God for that grab handle. But she's always harping at me to get the side steps. This does not have the bed lights or the outlet. Tundra. 
So this is kind of, it's like every other one. So the first one was loaded up, the second one, not so much. Third one loaded up, and this one, not so much. 56, 6, 9, 3, 60, 2, 6, 3. Okay. So this, again, it has the small screen. It has the soft text. What a nice truck. This does not have the bed lights or anything. But on the ones that have the package, like the advanced technology and all that, and the premium audio. Premium audio is what those uh, LED bed lights and the outlet come from. So that's what you're looking for with this 8-inch screen. Still does the job just fine. That's what we had in our old generation Tundra, so if you don't care about that. Another thing for you. Once again, TRD grill up front. This has the TRD sway bars on it and whatnot. It's a nice truck. It's a nice package. And it seems to be the one that they really want you to buy up here. I don't think I've ever seen so many sports. This is the one I like. Now, I talked about it on my live stream this morning. So you're seeing this on Monday. So yesterday morning, I talked about this on my live stream where, you know, this is exactly the truck I have. The only difference is this is Crew Max and it has the 18 inch wheel and tire package on it versus mine that has the limited 1794 and platinum TRD off-road wheels that are 20 inch. I wish I got the Crew Max just for, you know, rear seat size. So every time I see one of these, especially this pretty much a clone with a bigger cab on it, I like to really take my time and look at it because the next Tundra for me will definitely go back to Crew Max. Even my wife said something about that. Window goes all the way down in the back. We'll see how loaded up this one is. This does not have the bed lights. So this means it doesn't have the big screen. So I got to be honest with you, and the more I see them, the more they grow on me. I think I like the 18-inch wheel and tire package quite a bit. I love that meaty sidewall on the tire uh, versus, you know, the 20-inch the option on limited 1794 and now platinum for 2024. So this is what's on it. TRD front skid plate, TRD off-road package. It's not even the premium package, okay? So you're keeping the fabric seats. Heated leather steering wheel, SR5 convenience package. That gives you the bigger tank, blind spot monitoring, parking sensor, uh, SR5 painted mirrors, 56009, 59579. Now, TRD off-road package gives you multi-terrain select, locking rear diff, crawl control, has very much grown on me at first i wasn't a huge fan um i i do like the the ones that i have a lot but nothing like a good sidewall on a tire and it makes this body flow really nice like the look of it there's that eight inch screen and your fabric seats so just like with the trd sport package the trd off-road package can be built up off-road premium and then you start adding all the extra stuff premium audio and whatnot Smoke Mesquite was at one point a color I never saw and always looked for. It has become a color I'm seeing almost every week now, and I couldn't be happier because it's a beautiful truck. What do you think? This is a limited, just like we saw in the other lot. Limited, non-TRD, but this one's the five and a half foot bed, not the six and a half foot bed. What's your thoughts? Beautiful truck. Love that color. Looks good with the chrome. So this doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. This has the limited, or excuse me, limited power package. And that's your smartphone wireless charger. Bed step, all weather floor liners. It has those TRD cast side steps, 60,000, 31, 63, 601. And there's why. Crazy thing about this, this limited is not loaded at all. It has your regular grill up front. It has the big screen. That's standard unlimited. It doesn't have JBL. It didn't say JBL on there. That is not standard. It doesn't have the pano roof. That also is not standard. Beautiful truck. You want to get into a limited. But at this point, is it really... It's, it's a tough decision at this point. We'll say that. Because this limited is loaded down. And if you get into one of these SR5 TRD sports loaded up, you're pretty much right there. The biggest difference for you is this has heated ventilated memory seats standard where the high trim TRD sports like the loaded up premiums have heated soft tech seats. So the ventilated in memory is what you're missing out. Um, you'll have to let me know which way would you go in this circumstance? Not all circumstances because you could build limiteds up and you could build sports up 
and SR5s. But in this particular circumstance, this one loaded the way it is, which is a pretty low end limited versus a high end TRD Sport. What direction are you going with there? The land of the Platinums continue. We've seen a lot of them lately. And I don't care if we see them forever because the Platinum is absolutely a gorgeous truck. Celestial silver metallic, dark chrome grill, dark chrome surround, dark chrome wheels. The way it's sitting up here on this platform really gives you a good look at a lot of the exterior features of this truck. It says Platinum down on the door. Don't forget, 1794 Platinum and Capstone are the only trims that actually say it down on the door. 4x4, blacked out. This has the automatic bed step and the automatic side steps on it. Composite bed. LED bed lights with the outlet. That's a beautiful truck. We're going to look at the sticker momentarily. I just wanted to give you the side shot where the sun is hitting it the right way. Beautiful. We see a lot of Platinums, and I love it. All right, pricing. Not a lot of extras on here. Power running boards and power bed step, all weather floor liners. 67099. They want 70,669. 70, so, for 2024, as we know, TRD off road package is coming. So, I guess the question is do you wait for 2024 and get a platinum with a TRD off road package, or do you make a deal on a 2023? Think about that. We're going to take a walk and finish this video up right. We are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, this is a TRD Pro ice cap. I should say, once again, all of these are 2023. We don't have any 2024s up here yet, although I should be checking the sticker because that is, they're going to look exactly the same. It's just going to be small little features here and there. But here it is, ice cap with the red interior, just like the one I tested. Beautiful truck, LED light bar up front. Two TRD Pros in one day, that's a win. Power folding mirrors. One way you can tell if a TRD Pro is 2023 or 2024 right off the bat, if you look inside the truck, it has a gray headliner. For 2024, black headliners on the TRD Pro Tundras. You're welcome. I worked hard for that. No one ever told me that was my fault or not, and it probably wasn't, but you know I mention that all the time, so I'm patting myself on the back for that. Uh, premium auto leveling headlights. Love that heritage grill in the light bar. Those meaty Falcon Wild Peak tires with the TRD BBS Forge wheels. It has those Predator side steps down the side. Fox suspension. Gives you about a one and a half inch lift to even that puppy out. You got camo everywhere. You got camo on the top of the tailgate. Camo on the rear bumper. Camo on the over fenders. You got the dual tip TRD exhaust. Looks real good. If you look at the back, it says TRD Pro across the back here. That is uh, the only trim that has that. Everything else says Tundra. And this has the red interior. You can get red or black. Big 14 inch screen. I don't know how much you'll be able to see. There's that red interior. Heated, ventilated, memory. Big panel roof in there. JBL sound system. Uh, like I said, this is built off of pretty much a high end limited. So what do you think? Beautiful truck. Ice cap. Used to be called Super White. That is a manual kick down step right there. That is an absolutely gorgeous truck. White with the red interior. Stole my heart when I had it as a press vehicle a couple weeks ago. I had black with the red interior. I thought that was good. But nothing better than this white exterior color with that red. Think of when the Camry came out. The 20, I believe it was the 2018 when they redesigned the Camry. And it, this is the one they showed you, white with the red interior. I like that they did that with the new generation TRD Pro. Don't forget, when they let us know the look of the truck officially, they put a post up in June or July. I think it was June 2021 saying, all right, seems like a lot of leaked photos are out there. So here's an official shot. The first shot we saw was this, white with the red interior. Very, very nice truck. We forgot about the price. Let's check that out. TRD Performance Air Filters, all right? There's two of them because you got the, the dual boxes in there. Don't forget the bed step, spray on bed liner, predator drop step, 74, 738, 78, 308 on price. All right, you'll have to let me know what you think. That looks to be all the Tundras. I don't see any used ones anywhere, even over on that island where they usually are. 
So what's your favorite Tundra of the day? We've seen a lot of them. What did we see over the other dealership? Like eight? And here we, I don't even remember what we saw here. A lot of sports, platinum, this. I would say like a total of 16 or so Tundras. Two weeks ago at Holman, I was blown away by so many Tundras. Well, guess what? Two dealerships around me have equaled that. So which one is your favorite? Um, just the way this truck is sitting, all right? They got this up. The dealership is right next to me, like the front door, right? The way they have this sitting on an angle, this truck just looks so good. I hope the camera can do it justice. Strictly by the way this truck is sitting. I think this is my favorite. Um, I do like that TRD off-road SR5 they have on the other side of this lot. And I always like the Platinum. See, the thing with me is this. I love the Tundra. I love all of the Tundras. And I could find good and bad in all of the different trims. The things I like and the things I dislike. But at the end of the day, what a pleasure to see so many different trims out here. Today we saw Limited. We saw SR5. We saw the SX package on the SR5. We saw Platinum, TRD Off-Road, 1794. We saw a capstone. If you saw my live stream, at the end of the live stream, we noticed the capstone on the inside of the dealership. Like, we pretty much have seen almost all trims today. That is a blessing for a Tundra enthusiast like me. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. Guys, have a great day. Be safe. Be well. Let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite Tundra? You've got plenty to choose from. All right, we are here at Freeman Toyota, just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. Say hi, kids. Hi. Okay, Tundra dude, dudettes. Okay, this is just the used section of Tundras. But what I wanted you to see, the reason I stopped today is this right here. I have never seen this many new Tundras. I'm not kidding. SR5s, Limiteds, Hybrids. I, I've literally one, two, three, four. Guys, there's probably 50 trucks here. All different colors. We've got the green. We've got the mesquite. We've got that that pearl. We've got double calves. We've got crew maxes. I have never seen anything like this in my life. They are really, look at that. It goes all the way down there. And that's just the front row. Look, the whole, the whole back row. It's all the way down there. Guys, look at this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. See, that's an automatic step, so I can't get up there, but I can climb up here. Okay, look, all the way down, guys. Hello. Hello. Can't believe it. There's probably 50 Tundras here, guys. All right, signing off. If you need a Tundra, pretty sure they'll make you a deal. They've, they've got a lot of them.